Yo, what is going on guys? We're Greg Sierra. I know, I know. Long time no upload. Apologies for that. Uh, but ever since the reintroduction of the AOE test uh, that's broke a lot of the classes, I just haven't really found ESO fun to play. All the classes I like to play just got absolutely shit on. So I've taken a little bit of hiatus. But now I'm back. The AOE tests are concluded. And uh, would you believe it? Uh, it's, the results suck. You guys can look it up on the forums. Um... Everything that they did, that all the we test, it was a good effort to no avail. Uh, it's, it's really not going to help Siri at all. Um, another thing that they really didn't uh, test or go into depth on, which is kind of crazy to me, is all the proc sets. They didn't disable them, they didn't change them, they, they didn't do anything with that. And that's like half your data, if you ask me, is uh, just the proc sets alone, uh, not just the abilities. But uh, it's not their fault, it's just uh, just the way the game is, uh, the way Cyrodiil is. The, the problem with Cyrodiil, uh, in my opinion, is... Uh, the population density is not distributed. It's focused in like one, two, maybe three spots on the map, and that's it. And uh, so the best way to, to really counter, counteract that, because obviously no amount of mathematical algorithms or whatever is going to help uh, the server performance. Um, even World of Warcraft has issues, like when you're in a worker mar, when you have 100 people there, the server is kind of sketchy, and that's them just sitting there, not using any abilities. Like, there's like an alliance and a horde raid like going on like in one of the major cities, like, that server is just fucked. Like, if Blizzard can't handle it, you know Zoss can't. So, um, I do have a couple ideas, and I want you guys to kind of discuss, you know, with me. Uh, let me know in the comments so what you guys would do. I mean, this is strictly from a player standpoint. What I would like to see in the game is that uh, uh, you have to get rid of two or three points of interest in the game. That's just the way it is. And in order to do that, there's a couple ways. Uh, the first one is having, uh, they, they kind of did a, a, a rendition of this with a Volan Drunk to where you would pop up and everyone would flock to that point of the map and you kind of go with Volan Drunk. Uh, that's a pretty cool idea, but um, they kind of made it worse sometimes. <laughs> so um, I think uh, one of the, the best things to do would incentivize certain areas of the map. It's very similar to what Volendrung brings to the table, but uh, have maybe like double XP in a certain region, maybe like up in Bruma or you know down south, you know whatever in the the AD Alliance or whatever. Just and uh, a good, you don't have to do that all the time, right? Um, you could only do that, uh, let's say. Uh, I'm sure the server can kind of predict when it's getting kind of overloaded. So when it gets to one of those overloaded points, maybe have, you know, like, like an announcement across the server, hey, this area has got more shit going on, more AP, you know, go there. Or maybe there's a certain spawn somewhere that drops an item, you know, people could you know, go kill or camp or and it, just anything to kind of distribute the Zergs around. Um, and an another thing I would like to bring up is... Uh, the AP and EXP distribution. I actually have a hastily drawn sketch in paint. I'm going to describe to you exactly what I mean. I just think that solo play and small group play is just not incentivized nearly as enough as it should be. It's way too easy just to hop in a Zerg and get really good AP out of it and you just mindlessly press buttons. I don't think that's what Cyrodiil is about. Um, I think people should know their class a little bit better and be able to film for themselves a little bit better than, yeah, I know there's a new player experience and stuff, but this game's been out forever. I mean, you're going to bring new players into this. I mean, that's, like, I understand the, the easy access of it, but uh, I just don't think you should be rewarded nearly as much being an exerter. I want to show you exactly what I mean here. So, yeah, yeah, I know you guys. Uh, probably don't like seeing graphs and such but uh, this is just the the best way to explain it in my opinion so um, of course these numbers are arbitrary um, they could be subject to change so when I look at the group sizes um, I think as a solo player or a super small group uh, people you should get a lot more AP than everyone else is getting because it's much more difficult uh, in serial being a small group, so like especially solo queue or solo play is very very difficult and I just don't think solo players are awarded nearly as much and I think this would be a really good incentive for um, minimizing the groups and not being in 20 30 main groups whatever the cap is so I'm gonna look away from camera for a second on my second monitor can I show you because I actually see on this one so I think as a solo player let's say uh, each kill you get 
is, or we'll just say 2,000 AP, okay? I think as a solo player, and yeah, this might be a little biased, but I just think this is how it should be. Not only should you get the 2,000, but I think you should get a times 2 multiplier on that. So I think you should get 4,000 per kill. Yeah, I know that's not the right number in, in serial right now, but this is just an easy way to do math with. So, sorry, excuse me. No, no. Stuff he has to know, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I think you should get 4,000 per kill, and you distribute that over one person. Equals 4,000 AP per person per group. It's one. There you go. Now, two people per group. Where the hell my cursor is at? I think you should get a 1.5 times the experience boost, meaning that 2,000 AP you get will be 3,000 instead of 4,000. And then that should be distributed over two people. So at 3,000, distributed over two people, uh, you know, you get 1,500 each. And then same thing for three to four man groups. You should get the normal amount, which should be 2,000. Distribute that over three to four people. You know, that should be 500 approximately per person or 750-ish. And then five to eight people, I think, is where people's going to get really upset. But this is just a better way to incentivize small group, smaller group play. Now, having five to eight people, that's still a pretty reasonable size, and you're not getting shit on too much. You know, so you're going to get a thousand AP, and of course, yeah, it's going to be distributed over five to eight people, but I think that's fair. I mean, you have five to eight people in a group, there, there's no reason you couldn't dig down pretty much anyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially three or four man groups or one or two man, you know, solo and duo players. And I would even go even further and the zerglings that are like nine plus people in the group i think you should get like a quarter of exp and then also of course that distributed around how many people's in the group so your uh, distribution ap curve is going to look something like this All right and yeah it's not drawn to scale or very smooth but i just think that's how it should be so you know people hop on serial and you know, they, if you just want to chill and talk with your friends in Discord or whatever, you know, when you're, you know, Zergen, yeah, that's fine. But I mean, you shouldn't be rewarded nearly as much as you are now. Um, I think this is very cool because it will, when you're in a big group, say a 20 man group, when you look at your serial map, when you see everyone converging on a point, your instinct is to just go converge with your, your group members as well. So when you have smaller group play and such like this, it kind of leads you into different paths. Let's say, you know, you may not go, you may take a different path to go into Sejanus or, you know, so it'll lead to more and more skirmishes around the map instead of having everything concentrated in such a small ass area. And I think this would be a really good start. It's just breaking the, breaking the bigger groups, having them dispersed across the map. And I think an AP distribution like this um, would be uh, a good way to go about that. A lot of people's not going to be happy about it, but it is what it is. They did the AOE test, and I just don't think it's within their power to uh, fix the servers unless some major overhaul is going to come. And, you know, just a rework to the engine is similar like what Overwatch did. They re redid their, their entire engine, their entire infrastructure. But Blizzard has the funds to do that. <laughs> but uh, this is just how I think it should be. Uh, let me guys know what you think in the comments. I mean, this is uh, kind of biased because I am a um, solo player. So you guys may not think the same. But uh, please let me know if you guys have any other, other suggestions, what you want to do. Please leave them down in the comments. Um, hope you guys had a great Halloween. Um, I look forward to playing this game a lot going forward. I'll be playing tomorrow right now. You can see I'm uh, downloading the patch. It's taking forever. Um, I have fiber optic internet and it's still capped at like 38 megabytes per second. Not sure why. It's kind of dumb. But uh, it is what it is. Like I said, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Um, hopefully you, uh, you either handed out candy or hell, if you went trick-or-treating yourself. I would have went trick-or-treating if I was feeling pretty well. <laughs> to be honest, I love fucking trick-or-treating. But uh, this has been Horcrux. If you guys consider giving this channel a subscription, that'd be greatly appreciated. 85% of you guys are not subscribed, so it would help the channel out a lot. It would incentivize me a lot more to make videos such as this, you know, going forward. So with all that being said, fellas, it's been real, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Y'all have a great day. Deuces.